My name is Katie and I'm going to show you how to make a very basic pendant out of things that you can find at a hardware store. So I'm not going to waste any more time, let's get into it! So first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some wire. It doesn't really matter what wire you want to use, but I went with a stainless steel wire because it's not super bendable, but it's bendable enough that it'll stay locked in. Uh, second thing, you're going to need some washers. Um, you can go with one size, it just depends on your design, but I went with two different sizes to give it more dimension. Third thing, a pencil to wrap the wire, and then the last thing you're going to need is a pair of wire cutters, but uh, wire cutters and pliers would be preferable, but if you just have wire cutters, that's okay. First things first, you're going to take your wire and you're going to take your pencil, and you're going to start to wrap it. So, it's going to be, you're going to want it tight at first because we'll pull it out later so that it's even but it's going to look like this and then ultimately when you're done you're going to have something that looks like this and from there what you're going to do is you're going to start cutting so something that's going to be easier to like work in so that you can push it down you're going to cut it so you get little rings and you're going to have rings that look like this Once you have all of your wire rings put together in a separate pile, you're going to start connecting all of the washers together with those wire rings. You're going to open them, and since they're pretty bendable, you can just open them like that, and then put one of the washers in it, and then connect it like that, and then once they're on the loop, you just close it, and then there you have it. And when you're done, it's going to look something like this. You're going to have your wire circles wrapped around all your washers, so you're going to have like this chain kind of look to it. And then just to finish it off, you're going to open up your last little loop. And you're just going to bring in the washer and then close it, connecting the whole thing and giving it kind of a bracelet-like look. And if you want to add more colors too, you can paint your washers so that you have like a little more color in it too. I just took a nail polish color and put it on there, but I put it in different textures around it to give it kind of a tie-dye look, which I thought was cool. The good thing about this project is you can do kind of what you want with it. You can alter the design in ways that you think would be creative. So that was just a really quick tutorial on how to make a washer bracelet. I'm Katie Merrick. Thank you for watching.